I am one with my mighty I am presence. My holy Christ self. My personalities. And my body elemental. And my new spirit. And all parts of myself are in balance and alignment as I open my heart and mind to receive the message from our beloved Lord Metatron. Good afternoon, beloveds. It is a glorious day on your planet, and it is wonderful for me to behold all the light that is growing among my children. You are doing famously, my beloveds. You need to know this. You need to know that every effort you make on behalf of the light is seen from above and welcomed and appreciated. Not a single act goes unnoticed. So continue, my beloveds. Continue to do that which you are doing. Continue to give forth the love and the light the best that you can to all those who are willing to receive it. For indeed, this is one of your most painful problems at this time. As you are growing in the light, you have a great desire to share this love and this light with all around you. But know this, beloveds. Many of them are not able or willing to receive the love that you have to give. When you give your love to those who deny it, suppress it, or worse, it is basically a waste of your energy. As this love light energy that you so graciously give out is taken into the being of the person, it is sometimes used to further the problems and the illnesses that these loved ones are holding on to so desperately. This is why I do not want you to focus on the problems, neither your own nor those problems of those you love. For when you focus on the problems, you are actually giving your energy to them, compounding them, and making them worse. I know this may come as a shock to many, and I do not wish to shock you. I simply wish to make you aware of how your energy is being used. When you give energy, to those who truly do not want it or know how to use it in a positive fashion. So beloveds, learn to focus on the solution. Learn to focus on the divine presence of each one of your loved ones when you are concerned about what is happening in their world. It is very easy to see what is wrong and to focus on that. It is much more difficult to imagine what is unseen and to call that forth into manifestation. But this year 2012 
is the year to do just that, my beloveds. As you focus on the solutions, as you focus on your own ascension and the ascension of the planet, you are bringing it forth that much more quickly and that much more easily into manifestation. Your focus, your attention, is one of the greatest gifts you have to give to the world. I know this might seem strange to most of you. You are unaware of the great power and energy that is your focus. This energy and this power must be used for the highest and the best that you can imagine. And so I would ask you to spend a little time daydreaming, if you will. And daydream, imagine, visualize life as you wish it to be on this planet. Imagine a world where everyone lives in peace, where everyone is healthy, where everyone's needs are met, where everyone's creativity is allowed to be expressed. Focus on all of these things, my beloveds and they will come that much more quickly into your manifestation. This is what you want. This is what your hearts are calling for so loudly. We do hear your calls, beloved. But you must know and recognize your own power. You have great power, my beloveds. You are amazingly powerful beings who have yet to realize the extent of their own power. You have seen how it has manifested in a very negative fashion. And that has brought about some fear for some of you and you are now afraid to use your power because of the mistakes you have made in the past, the miscreations that have come into being because of you. But know that these errors are of little significance. Yes, very little significance, my beloveds. For as the new light comes in, and as the new earth forms, all of these errors and mistakes will be simply washed away in a great movement of God's grace. So when the memories of these errors come into your mind, Bless them, forgive yourself, and do not hold them in your consciousness for any length of time. Let them go immediately. They can bring you no good at this time. The good comes when they are released, forgotten, and removed permanently from your energy fields. That is the grace of this time, my beloveds. That all the old can be forgiven and released and removed forever from your energy fields. At this time, however, you must accept it consciously in order 
to move into the realm where these energies no longer exist. That means that on a daily basis, when old memories surge into your mind, release them immediately and go on about your creative activities. It will take some months for this process to fulfill itself. As it is the light of God that is causing the release of all of these old energies. Your solar flares and the great light that is coming into this earth from many directions and many dimensions is literally sweeping out the old. For those of you who can let go of this easily, it will be a graceful and wonderful time for you. You will feel the old sliding off you like soap in a shower. That is how easy it can be, my beloveds. But when you hold on to the thoughts and keep recalling them into your mind and keep feeling all the emotions associated with those thoughts, you are simply hurting yourself and delaying the arrival of more light. These energies must leave the very cells of your body in order for the light to take over and inhabit your cells fully. This is quite easy, my beloveds, both to understand and to do. So please, Get on with your lives. Have a wonderful time each day that you go out into the world. Be grateful for all of the wonderful things that are happening on the planet at this time. If you can maintain this openness and this joy, you will find your path to be a wonderful path. You will enjoy this process as it was intended. This is not a time for sad faces, my beloveds. This is a time of celebration. As you move into the new energies that are flooding this planet, you have so much to look forward to and I with you. Thank you for listening, my beloveds. Until next time, I am Metatron.